Hi, my name is Lisa Allen. Welcome to our English lesson. In esta lección tenemos un objetivo, comparar tres cosas usando adjetivos correctamente. Adjetivos comparativos es nuestro concepto contenido conceptual. El profesor de inglés va a explicar un proyecto especial para la clase. Empezamos. Let's begin. Adjectives. Here I have a picture of a boat, a rocket, and an airplane. Let's describe these three transportation means. The boat. Tall, lightweight, thin, red, white, yellow. These adjectives describe the boat. Let's describe the rocket. Heavy, high, expensive, blue, white. And the airplane? Green, fast, high, wide. These are all adjectives describing each object. Now, what if we want to compare the three? Then we have to change the form of the adjective. Let's compare three items, changing the adjective to its correct form. If the adjective has one or two syllables, we put EST at the end of the word. For example, long, longest. The word long only has one syllable. That's why we put EST. Dark, darkest. Heavy, two syllables, heaviest. Notice, heavy ends with a Y. In front of the Y is the consonant V. Change the Y to an I and then add EST. The word fine it has one syllable, so we say finest, but Fine ends with a silent E. Drop the E and add EST. Big is the last word on the list. Big is just one syllable, but the word big ends with a consonant G and has a short sound in the vowel I. A short vowel sound and one consonant, we have to double the consonant. That means we have to put another G to write biggest. What if the word has three or more syllables? Now we can't use EST anymore. We have to put most, mas, or least, menos, in front of the word. Beautiful, three syllables, so we put most beautiful or least beautiful. Expensive, three syllables, most expensive or least expensive. Complicated, four syllables, so we put most or least in front of the word. Organized, three syllables, so we can put most or least in front. Now, when we write the comparison, after we change the adjective, we have to put the word the before the adjective normally when we're comparing three things. Let's compare. The boat is the slowest of the three. Slow, one syllable, so we put slowest and the in front. The boat is the smallest of the three. Small, one syllable, smallest. The rocket travels the highest of the three. Highest. The rocket is the heaviest of the three. Look at heaviest. The word heavy, the base word heavy, ends with Y. Has a consonant in front of it, so we change the Y to an I and add EST. The airplane is the darkest of the three. The rocket is the most expensive of the three. Expensive, 
three syllables, so we put the most. The boat is the least expensive of the three. Now you practice. Write the correct form of each adjective. If nothing is being compared, leave the adjective in its regular form. If there is no comparison, no three objects, leave the adjective. Number one, Tuesday was rainy of the seven days of the week. Seven days we're comparing. The rainiest. Rainy ends with Y. Change the Y to an I. Add EST. My birthday was great day of my life. The meaning we're comparing every day of my life. The greatest. The 10th grade class, our fast class in the school in math. The 10th grade, all the other classes, the fastest. San Pedro Sula is one of hot cities in Honduras. San Pedro Sula, Honduras, the hottest. Textbooks for universities are some of the expensive types of book you can buy. Textbooks, other books, the most expensive. The students were tired. No comparison, just the same tired. There are six new words from this lesson. Lightweight, high, heavy, thin, wide, and rocket. Hemos cubierto nuestro objetivo, comparar adjetivos correctamente. Adjetivos comparativos es nuestro contenido conceptual. Thank you for your attention.